All right, uh, hello and welcome to a delitting of an i7 3770K. I don't know if this will focus, but you know, uh, there it is, 3770K. I'm just going to be deleting it today with a um, good old cheapo kind of uh, Chinese like CPU deliter. Used it a few times, uh, works pretty well, and yeah, I'm going to be using. Deep cool Z9 thermal paste. It's not the best, but you know, it'll do for the time being because I can't really get anything else. But anyway, um, let's get to it then. Basically, uh, yeah, the first step is to get old, just chuck it in here um, and just put the screw in. Also, I just. Uh, jammed this allen key in there because it's not very strong on the other orientation because uh yeah it just slips sli slips out a lot and it kind of can't really get any leverage anyway uh i'll just tighten this up And you basically just want to get it to the point where you can feel it kind of move a little bit. And then you just feel it give way a tiny bit and then that's the point where you should probably stop going. But then just to be sure, I'll, you just want to push it a little bit. And then when you pull it back out, Should be all good. Basically, just want to grab a, uh, a razor. With this one, uh, there was a razor included. It might not be if you get one as well, but you just want to go around the edges. Just cut all that glue. And, uh, yeah, just get it all off. Kind of just slice through it. And then, little pop off. And damn, is that some dirty thermal paste. Not dirty, dry thermal paste on the uh, lid and the, the chip itself. Now, um, the CPU itself come, becomes a lot lighter when you're handling it without the lid. So just bear in mind with that, don't go moving around too much because you might accidentally drop it. But um, I'm going to clean that up and reapply the paste in a sec. Just uh, cleaning it up with good old paper towels. And on the sepia itself, just the same kind of uh, hard plastic thing and just kind of get it off. Alright, after you've cleaned all that up, I usually just do a kind of a long, uh, long string down the middle of the chip, down the middle of the CPU die. Actually, I'll put that down there, do it like that, because safety first, safety for the CPU that is. Now that is, uh, that is quite a bit of thermal paste, I can agree. Um, probably better to do a bit less than that. Uh, it's just what came out, so I think I'll just leave that. Uh, just make sure that your thermal paste isn't electrically conductive, because you might short out one of these uh, little traces on the CPU itself. And uh, you can just spread that out a bit like this. But uh, I wouldn't really recommend doing this because it's kind of 
might get rid of most of the thermal paste and all that, make it an uneven layer, but you know, just makes it look a bit nicer, nicer, nicer. But um, yeah, I got some excess thermal paste, so it's a bit of a waste. But you know, um, anyway, what I'll generally do is I'll chuck it into the socket, and uh, yeah, so I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so I've got my motherboard ready, uh, and I'll just open up the socket. Basically what I'll do is I'll chuck this in, and then I'll grab the lid, and uh, move it up a little bit to its original spot, because when you close that lever, it'll move it down a bit. Just kind of want to hold it in place and then just close it up and then that should hold it tight uh, for any transportation anyway uh, that's it for this video there's no thermal testing because I couldn't be bothered to, to do any of that and uh, so if you like this video found it helpful or whatever check us a like or if you have any questions about anything uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comments below. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and see ya.